before the video starts, it'd be great if you, well, I think you should do it after the video, but if you can drop a like, a comment, appreciate that. Today's video is going to be about why narcissists and borderline split, what is splitting, and what is the impact that this can have on you. You've probably heard about splitting if you research about BPD and MPD. But basically splitting is when a narcissist or a borderline suddenly shifts from loving you, idealizing you, to actually hating you and devaluating you, or vice versa. So it, it kind of bounces from one extreme to the other. So it can be that they love you and then they hate you, but it can also be that they hate you and then they love you. And it can also shift very, very quickly, uh, meaning in a matter of a day, in a matter of hours even. This can happen for many reasons that they shift, but usually it's simply a defense mechanism that they deploy in situations where they feel triggered or stressed. So splitting is really this black and white thinking that borderlines and narcissists face. It's some kind of cognitive distortion, one can say, where basically they struggle to integrate the positive and negative aspects of other people, but also about themselves. So they're not really able to understand that life and people and themselves is probably a gray zone. It's not so black and white. So splitting is really having this all or nothing perspective. It's really this black and white perspective. And as I mentioned, it's not only about you, but it's also about how they look at themselves. And if you dated a borderline or a narcissist, you've probably seen this yourself. You've probably seen moments where the narcissist or the borderline is feeling extremely self-confident, almost too self-confident or not like uh, an abnormal amount of confidence. And then you might see them in moments where they feel instead extremely weak or self-conscious about, you know, the way they look, about their personality, about their intelligence or whatever else it might be. So you can see this huge uh, uh, difference and it makes it very difficult for you as a partner to <laughs> really support them because you probably don't fully understand how they even view themselves. But it's also towards other people that they split. So it's not only towards themselves, it can also be towards family members, it can also be towards friends. And if you've been in a relationship with them, you've probably seen this happen as well. There might be moments where they talk extremely well about a friend or about a family member. They say that they are the most important people in their lives, that they are indispensable. And then there might be another moment where they devalue them, where they talk very negatively about them, uh, a, a almost entirely negatively. And this might be based on something that is pretty minor. It might be based on a comment that a friend made, that a family member made, or, or a criticism, or something that in general wouldn't warrant this kind of reaction. So splitting really happens because they feel triggered. And when they feel triggered by something that has happened, either caused by you, either uh, an imagination that they had, then they respond by protecting themselves. So it's essentially a defense mechanism, but it's a very, 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 very toxic defense mechanism. So just to give you an example, and this uh, actually uh, happened to me as well, but you know, uh, there might be instances where the BPD or the MPD believes that you are looking at a partner of the uh, or at someone of the other sex and this might be true or it might be not uh, and very often it's actually not true and once you've done that that triggers in them for instance a fear of abandonment an insecurity and then suddenly they start unleashing hell on you because they perceive that you looked at someone when you might not even have looked at that person and what they will start doing is they will argue, they will criticize you, they will say that you're disloyal, that you're the worst person on earth, and so forth. So that, that's an example of splitting. But there could be many, many more examples. Another example could be you make a comment about something that they did. Uh, you know, for instance, they did not, uh, you know, empty the dishwasher in the right way and that might trigger them as well and then they start splitting on you as well and they might call you controlling or whatever else basically on something extremely small so these are examples of some ways that narcissists and borderlines split on you and it's it happens so much it happens on a regular basis basically that it also leaves you a bit 
confused about your own self-worth. Also because it's not all negative, the splitting, but it's also on the positive side. So there are also moments where they idolize you to an extreme, where you do something simple or where you behave in a normal way. And then the narcissist and the borderline portrays you as if you're this kind of divinity that came down on earth. And then you're very confused because there are these moments where they praise you in an unreasonable way. And then there are moments where they devalue you in an unreasonable way. So it really leaves you questioning, who am I as a person? Am I this fantastic person that you know should be treated like a divinity? Or am I this horrible monster, uh, selfish, whatever monster as they portray me other times? So it really has an impact on your self-worth because you don't really understand what is the reality of what is happening. And it's also a bit like an addiction because when you're being praised and when you're being treated well, that releases dopamine, that makes you happy. Uh, but then uh, when they devalue you, then you're waiting, hoping that they will see you again as a positive person. So it contributes to the cycle of toxicity and addiction that you get when you're dating a borderline or a narcissist. So it's important to realize that splitting is not only negative, uh, in itself, but it's also going to have a severe negative impact on you uh, as the partner and on their friends and on their family members. And many people surrounding the borderline or the narcissist are generally speaking quite confused because they never fully understand where does the borderline or the narcissist sit. But what's important to realize is that the borderline and the narcissist is also confused within themselves. They don't even know how they value themselves, how they perceive themselves because they are jumping from moments where they feel extremely self-confident to moments where they feel in doubt and uh, question themselves. So how can you be in a relationship with someone when they have not even figured out how they feel towards themselves?